coming on so caked up. about another foot. Rip my waders. See if I can go forward any. I'm gonna try to come out of here sideways.
I'm gonna have to call it quits, y'all. I'm tired. I'm gonna go on in the house. All right, y'all. Y'all be good. I'll catch y'all later. I have to get it out some other day. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all be good. What's up, y'all? So we finna go down here and get the foiler unstuck. It's been down here for about three days. I'm trying to get my camera stuff right, but it's been down here about three days. And I went and bought another, oh, dang. It got water in my waiter. That thing full of water. They got a hole in them. I think it was just on the side right there. But I went and brought me another another toe strap. So hopefully I can hook on to a farther out tree and I can pull myself out. That's what I'm hoping. But we shall see. I'm pretty confident in it. I'll be able to get out of there. My waiters got water in them. I put a hole in them last time, so. I don't think they got water in them. All right. I'm putting these on just, just for the boots. That's a dog told my other boots up. I think they got a little bit of sprinkle of water in them, but it's not much in them, so. And hopefully I don't gotta be in them long. <laughs> I have to see how this dog looking at me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't plan on being in here long. I'm sure I got the key. I was just tired trying to get it out when I got it stuck. I had been working out that day, so I didn't I didn't have much energy. You gonna come down there with me, Woofus? Hmm. I just wear them like this. If I can tighten this strap up tight enough, I just wear them like this. Basically, just putting them on for the uh, putting them on just for the lower part. Like I said, the dog told my my boots up, so. See if I can get this tight enough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear them like this. If I put the right strap through. I keep putting the wrong strap through. <laughs> okay, let me get it together, y'all. <sighs> Chicken's down there cutting up. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> Guess I'll try to patch my waders up. I think it came with some patches, so. Oh, Lord. That dog running down there like he finna save the chickens or something. Uh-oh. Boy, chicken ain't scared of him. He just looking at him. <laughs> he just looking at Roof. <laughs> he said he gonna protect his women. <laughs> Yeah, don't you come down here messing with my women. <laughs> uh. 
need to take my coat home. Take my coat home and wash it. I have problems getting my microphone connected. Finally connected for me. Try to shake everything out. That's how I put my hood on. It's about, about 70 degrees out here today, so. Not too, too warm, so. I guess it works. Leave him, leave him alone. Oh, Lord. Kind of worked out in my favor today. I bought a D-ring shackle and another uh, 20 foot recovery strap. So let's walk down here and get this foal out of the mud. <laughs> Like I said, I don't plan on being down here long. It's already been six minutes me talking, putting these clothes on. So, it shouldn't take us long. Like I said, I was tired and I was basically tired. And I needed some more straps. I got roofers with them. <laughs> Get this foal out of here, y'all. Yeah. Like I said, and I hope we, I can hook onto a tree farther around and we can get on out of here. Got a little bit of water in here now. This is a jam pack. I mean, it was like cement down here. So, let's see if we can get the fold out. Uh oh. I didn't realize I had that in front of the camera. Get out of that water. We can be drinking the water. I tell you what. All right, let's get this fold out of here, y'all. I don't know what I did with my. Come along, oh, it's over here to the side. See how much length we got. I'm gonna hook to uh, hook to a further tree, tree us further back. We didn't take us long to get out of here. This is a uh, 20 foot, and the other one's 20 foot too, I believe. So. foot right now is coming off that tree y'all can see that so we're gonna hook another 20 foot to it might be too much see i'll figure it out though make sure i pick up all this trash before i leave too Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you know how it looked if I had it. How far I come along and come out. It's caked up with mud. <laughs> come along, caked up. Roof. Get out of there. Oh, yeah, and I ramped it over so. That ain't making it no better. <sighs> okay, let me hook this on to the four wheeler. We gonna see how far we can get it to pull out. I don't know if these are tadpoles in this water. I think they are. Got some tadpoles, I mean, like some fish eggs, I think. I have to show y'all. <laughs> At least I think that's what it is. I'm gonna put another proper winch on my four wheeler eventually, but. Got it caked up with mud. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm gonna try putting it on a tree a little closer. Hopefully it'll be strong enough. I'm gonna try putting it on this tree. See how close they get me. That tree should be strong enough. See how long this is. Mm, it might be right at the perfect length to give me enough to get the four wheel back far enough where it can bag itself out. Cause what it is is it's gonna get it's gonna get caught up on this rut right here. So I have to get it bagged back far enough where it don't get caught on this rut. Are those tadpoles, y'all? Tadpoles. Y'all see them? That's what I think they are. Look like little eggs. <laughs> All right, let's try it from right here. See what we get. 
Right. Hopefully nothing don't break on me. Hopefully everything's strong enough. <laughs> Um, okay, the four wheel in the neutral. Mm. Let's see, is there a farther back tree that might be strong enough? I think that's going to be my best bet right there. I don't want to get in the water. <laughs> Trying to pull it from the back and be done. 